All right, this is a very uh, alien looking plant. It's called Phlegmariura squarosis. It's a lycophyte from Southeast Asia. And it's a member of a very ancient group of plants. Um, and it, one of the characteristics of the lycophytes are the microfills, these little leaves that they have that are very simple and just have a single vein. Another um, very distinctive characteristic of lycophytes that can be easily seen with this plant is that they, whereas the, the flowering plants and conifers branch by producing a new shoot where each leaf joins the stem called the axle of the, le of the uh, leaf, whereas these lycophytes only branch at the tip of each branch, of each shoot, and they branch dichotomously and splitting in two. So you can see that these shoots uh, only branch at, right at the end and branch symmetrically. And another interesting characteristic is that this particular group of lycophytes, the, the roots initiate at the beginning of, at the tip of each shoot and travel down through the stem, um, which is very unusual for in the, in the plant kingdom among vascular plants. And these are also sometimes called tassel ferns, even though they aren't ferns, they're lycophytes, which are more ancient than ferns, but they do reproduce by spores. Um, but when they produce uh, their, the structures that produce spores, the, which are called stroboli, or cone-like, this one doesn't have it on them, but it, when they do, they actually are typically long and branched and look a lot like tassels on a hat. So that's where they get that common name. So it's, a, it's an ancient plant that's learned to adapt to our modern rainforest environment.